up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you are rocking out there. I've got a tasty lick that I want to show you right now. Definitely clapped and inspired. And it's also related to a DVD set that I have a sale going on right now. All licks. Uh, you can actually see all the details of that DVD set in the link down there below this box. And not only that, I'm going to pick three comments from this video here to win that DVD set that's down in that link down there. So leave a comment, and I really appreciate all your support. Not only that, I'm going to teach you a lick right now. So let's zoom in and bring it down. Here we go. All right, let's get to it. It's uh, the key of C. So the little jam track I was playing underneath uh, is basically based off of the C blues, which is right here on the eighth fret. Well, it's going to work over, you know, any kind of rock or, or blues kind of thing. So let's take this minor pentatonic and check it out for a second, as we tend to do in the blues. And we're going to do this little double stop here, and it looks like this. And then down this extension. Um, one unusual thing that I hadn't, you know, I've taught elements of this lick before, but we're kind of thinking of the double stop right into a run. So instead of, we're doing, so when we're thinking of this note from the extension, and I'll tell you the frets and everything, but instead of that, we're always, we're thinking of it as a double stop just for that part. Okay, so let's learn the first part of it, and it's going like this. And so ring finger is right on the 11th fret of the G string. Middle finger is on the 10th fret of the B string. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pick both of those notes with one pick and slide it up a half step. What you saw me doing, my index finger is not playing any notes at all. It's really just buffering the strings. You could try and get really accurate and just pick the two notes that your finger's on. Um, I've had a lot of success with just using my index finger as a buffer. And when you play slide guitar, you tend to do the same thing as well. So we've got this. So we slide on the first one. Da, da, slide, da, da, slide, da, da, slide, da, da. So we don't want to hear the slide back. We don't want to hear. I'm overemphasizing it, but we want. And then it's muted. So the slide back, you're not pressing the chord down. You're not going. It's relaxing and coming back, then coming back down. So after we do it, and you can do it as many, you can do that slide thing as many times as you want. We do the last one. And then immediately I'm sliding from the 12th to the 10th on the G string into this extension here. Okay, now 
Now, check it out. Something that really adds a lot of character is right here in the pentatonic, this uh, eighth fret on the G string. We want to bend it just a little bit, quarter tone bend. to we want just it's so subtle but it adds so much and then we're gonna do the same little pull I'm just pulling down a little bit fret on the D string we're gonna do the same thing so you got the eighth on the G natural there then the quarter tone on the eighth of the D and then we're gonna slide that ring finger from 10 to 8 on the A string and then 6 on the A string with the, another quarter tone bend so check it out a nice little concept that hopefully will spark some new ideas for you. All right, there was the lick for you. Remember, three comments to win my DVD set of super tasty licks. Link for it's down there. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Take care.